everyone welcome back it's Kirsten from Rarefield Crafts um, I'm just hopping on today um, which is Wednesday September 2nd um, because I got my premier yarns order in um, and I just wanted to open it up with you guys and show you what I got um, now if you don't care about um, yarn unboxings, then that's fine. Go ahead and turn me off. Um, but just forewarning that all of the yarn that's in this box is the same brand. Because um, it's the yarn that I'm going, to be I'm going to be using for my oldest niece's, my, yeah, oldest niece's blanket, which is the Harry Potter themed blanket that I'm making for her. Um, so that's why I was waiting for this to come in so that way I can start working on those squares and I just wanted to hop on and show you guys what I ordered or the colors that I got um so yeah let's go ahead and do that now I just I do want to say that I am not affiliated with Premier Yarns I bought all of the yarn myself um I do however have a referral link down below for Premier Yarns um I believe if you click on it and you make a purchase I think you get 15% off or something like that um, so yeah so let's go ahead and open this because I am really excited because I have never used well I can't say that actually because I did get some sweet rolls but I ordered those through jo Joann's so I've only used the Premier sweet, sweet Rolls yarn from Premier it's the only kind of Premier yarn that I have ever used so far so I am really, oh, wait, why am I saying that? I can't even say that. I am totally, I just used um, Premier Cotton, Home Cotton. Wow, I am totally off my game today. Anyways, let's just get into the unboxing, I guess. I'm just, cause I am screwing everything up. Now I'm going to try not to cut my yarn. And the only thing I want to say about the shipping on this is um, since I currently live in Italy for the next three months, I'm so excited to go back to the States. Um, the shipping actually was pretty quick. Um, I'm considering that it's got to come international. I think it took roughly two weeks to get here, which is not bad. Because let's just say that I ordered school clothes for my kids and I still haven't gotten that. And I ordered those at the end of at the end of June. No, July. Alright. So. This is what the inside looks like. I love how they packed it. So nice and neat. Alright. This is just my receipt. Alright, and it has the price of what I paid. So all of the Premier Yarn, um, I paid $2.99 per skein. Which, if you look at how much like Red Heart is, or... Yeah, Red Heart, right? Oh no, Burnett. I have Burnett too. Burnett Super Value. If you look at those prices, those are like between $3 and $5 for a skein. So for under $3, I can get quite a bit. Alright, so we're going to start off. This is the Premier Basics, and this is the color Goldenrod, which that's a really deep golden color compared to... The Red Heart Super Saver Gold. It's a much richer. So that's nice. That is nice. Ooh. So each each ball is 359 yards, which is fantastic. So it's 
pretty comparable to Red Heart Super Saver. You get 364, so you're only missing five yards, five yard difference, but price is so much better. And what do you get in Burnett? Burnett you get, oh well, Burnett you get 400 yards. Anyways, so yeah, that is nice. So I got two of the goldenrod. So, yay. Oops, didn't mean to throw that. Did not mean to shake you guys. Next color that I got is black. Just standard black, and I got three of them because I need a lot of black for that blanket. that and then next color I got was burgundy right Is this... oh, there we go burgundy ah. so it's a nice wow that doesn't really look like burgundy but whatever it will do the trick for this blanket so I got three of those, and again, each ball was $2.99. So next, or oh, wow. I gotta say, I really love how they package this, because most of these are singles, and they put them all together, which is great. So. here so I can open this but save the bag cool and I can finally feel it so the next color I got was taupe which I do have to say it looked more Like a darker brown online. So, because I was kind of going for like a light brown for when I do the sorting cat. So, it doesn't really, I don't, I don't really like that. It doesn't really look like how I would want it. I don't know. I might have to go to my arts and crafts store on base here and see if they have like a light brown instead because I'm not really feeling this taupe for it. But I do have to do have to say that this is really soft. Really soft. I really like that. So anyways, taupe got one of those, correct? Yes. One taupe. And then I got oh, I got two greens. Cool. I got a forest green. I got another green, which was leaf. So that's nice. I really, I am really loving this yarn. It is so soft. It's gonna be great for a blanket. And then I got one linen, so it's, one second guys. All right, sorry about that guys. My husband came home for lunch from work. Um, but as I, was, as I was saying when I left off, um, this taupe color I got to use for the sorting hat um, picture that I'm doing for the Harry Potter blanket to go with this brown, but it won't look right. So. What I'm going to do is go to my local yarn shop and see if they have a color that's a lighter brown than this because this taupe, it's more like a tan color and it just, it won't, it won't do for what I'm trying to go with. But I do have this Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in the color Buff, which still not going to really match, but it might look better. I just wish I had a darker brown here. So that might be my task next week is to go to my local yarn shop. Ooh, that back. 
and see if they have a lighter brown to go with this. But anyways, um, so that was those four in here. Did I show you guys this color? Oh no, this is the taupe. Oh. I had these completely fat mixed up. This was the linen. This is the taupe. Wow, my brain is not working. But still, it doesn't really look. It's more like a, a gray brown kind of color. I don't know, it still won't work for what I'm going for. So, uh, let's, see, let's put these away. Sorry for all the crinkling. Okay. okay, so that was that set. And then last but not least, I got two skeins of the white. I got, um, what color is that? What is that blue one? I can't see it on there, so. 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 Two skeins of the white, which that is complete. There we go. Blown out the white, then light blue, which. It's a nice blue, I really like that. And then a light gray. Yeah. So yeah, and that is my Premier Yarns order, little mini haul. Um, and I believe all this yarn and then some that I have in my stash. Well, you can't see, but this shelf and the next two shelves will be enough to finish, hopefully. Hopefully finish that Harry Potter blanket for my niece and as always I will definitely um, keep you guys updated each week when I do my yarn chat videos on my progress of that blanket um, so yeah and that is it that is all that I have to show you guys for my premiere order so not much all the same um, yarn or brand of yarn type of yarn, brand, type, I can't think today, um, and it's all for that one blanket, so, that is it, um, also, just a reminder that I do have stitch markers that are available in my Etsy page, and I will leave that link down below in the description box if you guys want to take a look at what I have available over there. Um, so yeah, that is it. That is all that I have to share with you guys. Um, I probably won't be back on until next Tuesday. Um, my family and I, we were supposed to go to Paris this weekend. Um, but due to the whole COVID situation and numbers increasing here in Europe, um, we are unable to go to France, um, because if we go and we come back, we will have to all be put on, or yeah, basically all of us will have to be put on a 14 day ROM, which is a restriction of movement, because that is not an approved country to go to right now because of their numbers. So instead of that, we are gonna go up to Slovenia this weekend. We are leaving Friday afternoon. Um, I will try to take some pictures and maybe some mini video clips of our um, time up there. Um, there's not really much to do up there. We did just look and see what they have. Um, it's mostly a bunch of historic buildings and just we're going to be walking around. So I will definitely take some videos and pictures and share them with you guys when I come back on on Tuesday. <sighs> so is it I'm really bad at this um, I do want to take a moment and say thank you to all of you um, without all of you guys my channel would not be growing the way it is and I appreciate each and every one of you um, 
I'm hoping to possibly do another giveaway at some point. I just haven't decided when. Um, I don't know. We will see. Probably when I reach 10,000, I will do another giveaway. Um, hopefully we will still be here in Italy when I reach that, but if not, um, definitely when we get to Texas, cause that's where we're moving to. Yay, stateside, I'm so excited. Um, I will do that giveaway then. But, wow, I am just blubbering and babbling and just going on and on. So I'm just gonna stop right here and let you guys go. Um, again, today is Wednesday, September 2nd. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful and safe Labor Day for those of you who are in the States. And I will talk to you guys all on Tuesday. All right, have a great day, everyone. Bye.